I'm NASA Kennedy's Dr. Gina Henderson, and I'm taking you inside of KSC. NASA, United Launch Alliance, Boeing, and Department of Defense personnel conducted a successful integrated crew exercise on February the 12th. The simulation was in preparation for Boeing's uncrewed test flight of its CST-100 Starliner spacecraft designed to carry astronauts to the International Space Station. Boeing's orbital flight test, OFT, of Starliner is targeted to launch no earlier than April on a ULA Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The joint team executed a mock countdown that practiced fueling the Atlas V and operating the unique launch day timeline. NASA's Opportunity rover mission came to a close, but not before setting a foundation that would serve as a basis for future Mars exploration Designed to last about three months, Opportunity, which was processed at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, explored the red planet's surface for almost 15 years. It provided valuable scientific data while exceeding its life expectancy by 60 times. The remarkable rover landed on Mars in January 2004, seven months after its launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Its last communication with Earth was in June 2018 when a severe Mars-wide dust storm blanketed its location. Opportunity provided the first proof that water once existed on Mars. It's Engineering Week, and across the nation, engineers are being recognized for their contributions to society. At Kennedy and throughout NASA, dedicated engineers work tirelessly toward accomplishing the agency's deep space exploration goals. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.